these equations these are two n right what type of equations are these these are partial differential equations I have two n PDEs okay so let's recap a little bit I started with this my highly nonlinear system I'm hoping for a transformation of coordinates and also control to arrive here I set the equations that need to be solved to do that so if I can solve these two, two n PDEs I'm able to do it and the solution will give you the thing right so the question now because before just wasting my entire life trying to see if I can solve these equations or not if we have a, a condition that tells you oh you can solve it or no for sure you cannot solve it it's, it's good to check it beforehand right if you look at these equations it seems that t1 if t1 is given everything will fall out right because if I give you t1 and say x1 squared, okay, just differentiate the long f, you got t2 immediately, right? Differentiate what you got here, the long f again, you got t3 and so on, so everything falls out, right? So the question now is, does there exist t1 that satisfies these guys, right? So, so far, like I said, no relation with differential geometry except that we were a little bit pedantic calling the directional derivative lead derivative. Other than this, this is just linear systems. Okay, so now if T1 is given, I'm not to repeat what I said, okay? You got it. T1 is given, that's okay. So let's focus on T1. What does T1 need to satisfy? So focus on T1. What are the conditions upon T1? Well, there is LG, T1 is 0, okay? But not only that, because also LF of T1 is something, and the LG of this thing is 0. So uh, this actually um, invokes or suggests that to check the lead derivative of T1 along FG. Do you remember what's the definition of this guy? It's what? It's what? By definition of the lead bracket, actually. This was the definition of the lead bracket. It's LF, LG, right? Minus the other way around. Okay? And this guy is? This guy is what? Zero. zero. This is zero. This guy is what? T2. But LG T2 is what? It's zero again from the second equation. So this is zero. Oh, so the conditions for T1 is actually LG, T1 is zero, and also L, FG, T1 is zero. And you can actually check that it's everything until, so like the next term will be L, F, FG, T1 is zero, all of them until L, add F, G, N minus two, T1 is 0. Okay? Any question? Please, if you have a question, come up with it. So the question now is, I was looking for a solution. And we agreed that if I have T1, I got everything. And here are the conditions for T1. So I'm asking, does there exist T1? Does there exist, just T1, I'm looking just for T1 of x, satisfying these conditions, right? Okay? So let's see. In the state space, and please pay attention. So this is like x1, x2, x3, and it's, it's in dimensions, put all the dimensions. If T1 exists, how do you viewed in the set space. T1 is a function, like x1 squared plus x2 squared equal constant or something. How do you view it? The forms of surface. Surface, right? It's just a function, so when you plot it in the state space, it's just a surface. Right? So this is 
T1 of x is constant, correct? Okay. So this is like my x2. So, Professor, just, just a quick question. So, this is like a, a 2 nth order system for partial differential equation in T1, or it's like, can we reduce it to a. Here is the deduction. So, yeah. We already reduce it now in just T1 only. And these are n minus 1 equations. Right. N minus 1 equations, first order. Okay. So, uh, how we view these conditions of the geometry here? LGT1 is 0. What does it mean, LGT1 is 0? What is LGT1? What's LGT1? In, in your engineering analysis kind of thing. What is LGT1? Hmm. The gradient of T1 dot product with the vector field T. So this is something like not a T1 dotted with G, right? It's zero. Okay? Okay, how do you view it on the geometry? <clears throat> what does it imply if the gradient of T1 dotted with G is zero? It means what here? Yeah, Very good. It means that first that this guy is perpendicular to that guy, but this guy is perpendicular to the surface. So it means that G1 is what? Tangent to this surface, if this surface were to exist. So this is G. If this surface exists, then G must be tangent. But this is not only for G, it's also FG. So FG must be tangent. Right? All of them until this guy, which is add f g n minus 2, they are n minus 1 vectors. They are all must be tangent. If this, if I can do all these things, it means that these guys are tangent on the surface that you're looking for. So the question now is: does there exist a surface, right? Embedded in Rn, such that these vectors, which is g, f g, until add g, so f g n minus two, are tangent to that surface, right? Everywhere, locally around the point that you're interested in. Did we encounter this question before? You're asking about the integrability of this distribution, right? Can I find the surface <clears throat> such that these vectors, this distribution forms the tangent space of this guy everywhere, right? So actually, this is equivalent to the delta span. So yes, the answer is yes, if and only if. This distribution is integral. The span of these guys, here comes the relation with differential geometry. n minus 2, this delta is integral. And thanks to Frobenius, we have an if and only if condition for the integrability. What is that? If delta is what? Negative and in volume. In volume, right? If it's analytics, it's in volume. Just it's the easiest thing. Integrable if and only if in volume. Right? Very good. So now we can have a theorem. The system two with single input is input state linearized. If and only if the delta that is span of your g, fg, and all these vectors up to add fg n minus 2, this guy is, should be must be integral. 
and integrability is just equivalent to integrity. So I need to check that this guy is involuntary. Okay? Any questions so far? So by itself is not sufficient. I'll give you here um, a side discussion. So it's necessary for sure. Because if I cannot do it, then, <laughs> then there is no service. Okay, forget it. Right? So it's necessary. Is it sufficient? No, we need a one more condition. That's also necessary, to, and, and together they are sufficient. What's that condition? Actually, there is an interesting work by Rocket. I guess it's. Uh, I guess it's 78 or something. Anyway, so he said the following. These distributions form these distributions, the span of G's, okay? So G1 up to Gn, okay? D1 is the span of your D, the elements in D, not, and <coughs> F with G is just one F, okay? And yeah, yeah, yeah. So dk is the span of elements in dk minus 1 and uh, what else? Yeah, add fgj is k. Okay? Just keep adding the brackets with f. Okay.